Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, today is during the week of December, uh, like the technically the first week of December, and I'm filming a video. I just did like a bunch of Christmas shopping. Um, I wouldn't say like necessarily like for Christmas gifts, but for Chris Christmas gift items. And if you hear a little trotting, it is because my dog Peanut is here with me. Um, so you might hear a little bit and he might just sit on my lap or something. Um, so yeah, I bought, I've been wrapping gifts and uh, I've been like trying to change it up this year. There he is. He's smelling everything. Um like as far as wrapping paper, I've been really going for like a pink theme uh, for the most part, um, as I've probably done in like my previous videos. I've said that, um, you know, like when I've been shopping out for um, wrapping paper and gift bags and everything, I've been gravitating more towards like soft pink, um, but still making it really festive. Like as you can see right here, those are like the, um, wrapping paper that I've used and whatever I don't use the unused, um, wrapping paper, like I'm talking completely wrapped in plastic with the tag still on them. Um, I'll probably donate. Uh, but I did some more of that today. I was looking around for, um, gift boxes, um, for like the ones that they give you like at department stores but um I don't know if I've bought any that were big enough for the items that I have but I tried my best and I went to Family Dollar I went to uh the Dollar Tree and I went to Rite Aid first of all I'm more of a CVS girl myself so going to Rite Aid was like a culture shock because it's just so expensive I felt like even with like the discount, I was like, really? That's super expensive. I'm not used to paying that much for stuff because like CVS, you get your extra care bucks. I'm part of like the um, monthly deal where I get $10 back um, and on top of like the coupons. So, you know, it really comes out. Like I said, like last time I got two of like the... Um, two of the gift bags that I bought for free basically because I had ten dollars of that um that happens every month so that and if I don't use it they end up expiring so of course I had to use it okay so let me see so yeah I went to first of all let's see after I did well ugh, let me start so after I ran some errands, I did um, go to the tractor supply store to see if I could find um, some gifts, and I did. And also an item for myself, like a coveted item that I had been looking for the longest time. So, you know, I know I may not, you know, do car heart things, but I think in the area that I live in, it's pretty, um, it's pretty country. So I feel like it kind of gives me a right to wear a Carhartt beanie. So I bought this Carhartt beanie. It was about 20 bucks and I think it was also 20% off. So it probably took about, gosh, I can't math. But yeah, it was like about 20 bucks. And I've been looking for this beanie in this specific color for like ever. I have been trying to look for Amazon. It was sold out. So when I was like looking for gifts for like my uncle and my dad, I found this and I was like, this is perfect. I'll go ahead and take it for myself. So, you know, uh, I've been trying it for the most part to keep it strictly for gifts, but, um, I had to take it. I was like, just in case, and I don't want to risk it. It's been on my wish list for the longest time, but I was like, okay, I'm just gonna fuck it, buy it for myself. And you know, nobody has to worry about it. Cause I already bought it for me. Um, I'm also wearing a shirt, sorry, from the Snooky shop. I just noticed it says hot cocoa, uh, Rudolph lights, mistletoe and Santa. And yeah, this is usually my Christmas shirt. Um, and then something else that I bought at tractor supply store were these lavender candles. These are from Thompson's candle company. They're super scented in lilac. I know tech, I like the, um, the tag or what is it the label 
uh first of all it's not like super like i don't know like manufactured it gives like those like small craft bear town feel vibes um so this is technically not like a christmas scent but i like it so i'm thinking that maybe i can usually they have like the cats on it so i was thinking like maybe the one with the cat give it away and maybe this one keep but it was a scent that i liked the most i like sat there and just started smelling them but but these are the ones that i liked the most and these were 10 9.99 and they were also on sale i'm not sure the percentage um i know i have like the receipt somewhere but i thought that'd be a cute gift or stocking stuffer or maybe just keep it for my house because i know that we're big candle people and i missed the bath and body works candle sale because personally i like being there and smelling it in person okay i also went well let's do it like chronologically from when i started I also went to the Dollar Tree, which is not technically a dollar anymore. It's a dollar twenty-five, and I found these tissues. It's fourteen pieces of tissues, but I like it because I like where it says like um, North Pole Express. Like I like that brown. So it's like I'm going all over the place, like country and kind of like cutesy, and then pink. Um, but I also really like um, like the brown, kind of like country feel um of it and so this one says make it merry and going off that theme okay um I also, like I said, I got like cutesy things. Oops, sorry, Peanut. So, um, also off that theme, I got like these gift boxes. They're four pieces, also $1.25. And technically, like, I don't know what could fit in here, but um, I like how it says like, tis the season and then um, season's greetings. And then I got these three pack um, gift bags. And this one, it says, uh, Merry Christmas, celebrate together. And then Christmas tree and then like plaid, green plaid. So it's like that brown that maybe I can possibly use for like my coworkers. And um, I also got this one again with like the um, like country feel vibes, Merry Christmas. And then... Um, gnome for the holidays i thought that was really cute so see my like aesthetic see i don't think i really have an aesthetic it's like all over the place uh this one i like the bear it looks kind of pink in the store like the with the glitter but i guess it's red but like i said whatever i don't end up using i'm gonna donate and then i also got two packs of 16 piece pencils just because i like the designs and i might do like little gift bags for my coworkers. Um, and then I love these tags because they come with the bows already. And I just like, for the most part, I got it for the gingerbread man. He was really cute. And so, like I said, I also went to Rite Aid and I wasn't too happy with them because it was so expensive. But I mean, there were some things that like at CVS, you know, I appreciate like the um, fragrance sets are not, uh, are like out in the open. I don't have to like call someone to um, open it for me, like open up behind like some glass so I can just like pick one up off the shelf and pay for it right away. Um, there's also some other things that I was looking for. I was looking also, I'm hosting like a, um, a cafe for Jongen's birthday on January 14th. So I've been looking like also for bear themed products. And I really couldn't find any today. Um, I didn't even check at the Dollar Tree. So I might have to check later. But, um, so I'm a little bummed about that. But I think as far as like Christmas stuff, I was able to find some things. Um, let's see. Oops, sorry, P. Um, 
Uh, I also went to the Family Dollar and I found these bigger shirt boxes. Um, still not quite sure that this is the size I need. And these were $2 and it's a four count. So I like this design and I also like this design on the back. And again, with like the country theme, uh, this is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And this was a dollar. And then this one is just for fun. It says, let's celebrate. And this one says, happy holidays, also a dollar. Um, let's see. I also have some packages I ended up receiving. Um, let's see. So first of all, I bought stuff from A, A Ziggy's again. Um, and she put like some, some stamps and some stickers on there. It says, Hey mail carrier, you are essential to my business. Thank you. Stay healthy. Stay safe. I thought that's very sweet, but I love the way she decorates her stuff. And let's see what it says here. Michelle, thank you so much for ordering it again. I can't always send extras after my first order, but I try my best. Here's this few ex extras as a gift. Hopefully a good reminder to stay confident in yourself. Happy holidays. Love A Ziggy's. And I like this because it says I'm too much. Go find less. And um, there's also some stickers in there that I'll probably put on my suitcase my suitcases or I'll give away as um as gifts and then this is uh so cute it says get in bitch we're going shopping okay so speaking of her let's get started with what I bought from her shop okay so this keeping in theme with like the Christmas sweater theme that I've been trying to uh, do, but I'm not sure if I'm able to wear it just cause you'll see why. So, um, this is the crack nut surf cunt, Merry Christmas and uh, Christmas toad, funny sweater, funny frog, Christmas sweater, a nut cracker, cr Christmas unisex sweater and light pink. It says, thank you so much for shopping at my wild little small business. I hope your items can bring you a slice of joy and laughter and never forget you are magic. Please share on social media and give me a review if you have any spare time. Thank you. And this is what it looks like. It says, crack, nut, serve, cunt, Merry Christmas. And it's a toad ballerina. I'm not sure if I'm going to be wear, able to wear it around my parents, but I can certainly try or at least maybe like, um, <laughs> like tape where it says cunt. I personally am not offended at the word, but some people are, and I'm sure like some parents could be offended by it, whatever. I think it's just a word and we've really owned up to the word as woman. So it's not even like serve cunt, like as in a bad way, it's more like surf fierceness. So that's how I take it. But I'm sure that other people will take it the wrong way, but whatever. I also bought something from Barstool Sports. I love one of my favorite podcasts is Out and About Podcast with Joey Camasta, um, AKA Nana and Trish. And so, um, I recommend, recommend that podcast so much. It's one of my favorites. There's two episodes a week, Monday and Friday, and I try my best to listen to them the day they come out. I think I do a pretty good job. So it's like that one and, um, and it's happening with Snooki and Joey. Those are like my must haves, like, Oh, my week isn't the same without them. So they also did their own Christmas sweater and I can't wait to wear it. This one's like a little bit more appropriate. It's very, um, 
unique, but it's also very appropriate, I feel. So, you know, my family won't get embarrassed seeing me wear it with, around with them. And it says, it's a ma'am ugly sweater. It says, thank you for shopping with Barstool Sports. This item is made to order, order and not eligible for return or exchange. All sales are final. But totally fine because look at at this it says merry christmas ma'am uh, because i consider myself part of the man mafia and the man mafia are fans of out and about uh it's santa he's carrying um a bag or what is a uh, satch a uh, satchel of wine um what is it called like a bag whatever of wine and he's wearing heels one moment i'll be right back our phone is ringing. Okay, I'm back. That is super annoying. And I thought it was an important phone call. First of all, yes, we're very analog here. Um, we still have a landline. Um, but second of all, like, um, it was a spam call. Like, seriously, I thought it was something important. I thought it was an emergency. So I'm so sorry that I like, had to run off and answer that annoying phone call and I asked them, do not disturb me ever again, take me off your call list. But anyway, um, I did find uh, this Merry Christmas Man sweater at barstoolsports.com, it's limited edition. Um, so like while, I don't know if it's like while supplies last, but it's more of like um, made to order until they stop making them type of thing so I'm guessing like around the holidays um and then it has like the barstool logo on it and I really love it I can't wait to um wear it and I okay I know it's called Sienna sack but I don't like it it just sounds disgusting so um yeah I had to represent one of my favorite podcasts can't wait to wear it okay and then lastly for i don't know if i'm gonna unbox this for today's video or not um i think i'm gonna do a separate video for that but uh lastly my mom wanted an advent calendar and i was like torn between getting her this one or the disney funko one because i know she likes disney um but what are we gonna do with all those funko pops so I ended up getting her a line friends one, um, it says happy holidays. And on the back it says dear Santa. And it's a collaboration between line friends and the body shop. So it's 14 days of Christmas. It looks like this. And so I guess we're going to have to start it on the 11th. Start like punching in. Um, I know on the website it has what it comes with, but so it's like cool that we haven't missed it or anything because I am I believe that this came from Korea actually. So I thought it was so cute and hopefully it made my mom's day and I can't wait to see what's in it. I'm sure that she or my sister will use it. I feel like I have plenty of like lotions, and face wash and um, just stuff in general that um, I can let them use it. But I really like the box. I'm probably going to keep the box, to be honest. Okay, so that was like a really quick haul um, and unboxing. Um, I mostly wanted to get it out of the way so I can, you know, post about it and also um, make TikToks if applicable. But also hide some of these things from like, you know, since a lot of it is like Christmas stuff. Um, so hide some of it so uh, it's not like out in the open. Um, and I could like wrap my gifts <laughs> accordingly, but also showing you guys first cause, um, I think it's very helpful, right? I hope so. I hope it's pretty informative. Um, but thank you guys so much. I posted a video yesterday, I believe, and, um, I've made some TikToks, not only K-pop related, but also for the holidays. And, uh, you can follow me at MK Madrigal on there. You can also follow me at MK Madrigal on um instagram and you can follow me at yishing slip-ons on twitter um like i said i'm trying my best to uh clean it up i'm up until january 2021 um you know 
until I'm going to try to do it till like at least July 2022 um or anyway but like from 2021 to like this year has been kind of triggering for me so I feel like I'm gonna have to do like it in a healthy mental space so I'm just not quite ready yet so if you see any tweets and feel like they're problematic I'm extremely sorry um just know that I've grown as a person you don't have to follow me you can mute me you can block me I understand if you don't want to follow me on there um but uh, thank you guys so much for watching like I said if you feel more comfortable definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok um those are a lot less problematic and I pretty much keep it to lighthearted content and content that people would like to see okay you guys um Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on the cafe and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. And right after this, I'm going to start filming because I know what this is. So I'm going to unbox it right now. Thank you guys. Bye. Love you.